Hi guys, it's Bookshelf 41. This was a must win game and sadly we didn't win it. Uh, it puts us very close to the bottom three. It's so tight at the bottom, I think we're on 40, uh, the rest are on 36 and 38 respectively. So this puts us very close. Uh, it was difficult to walk because we didn't play very well. Uh, it seems like the bite that was had in midfield for the last couple of games just wasn't there. I don't know if they're tired or what. Just didn't feel like the bite at the midfield was there. Uh, I thought Crutton had a poor game and Cope wasn't any better like he had been for the last couple of games. Uh, in the first 18 seconds that a player went down for Wednesday, he thought it was going to be a bad injury, but it wasn't, thank God. Uh, we had little spells in the game where we had a great chance like first half, uh, Lita had a volley and it just hit hit the defender. And then there was a good chance for Forrest and Kirtland, to his credit, had an amazing game in net. And the goal the goal that came for Forrest, all the defenders dived in and no one stood the ground. So you if you don't stand your ground and you slide in, it was just a very well worked team goal. And with games like this, there's no point saying uh, this should change, that should change. We, they were just the better team with quality players and played very well. We got outplayed. I felt we didn't perform that well at home. And you could tell a lot of people have thought, but, oh it's on TV, I'm not going to come because there was no atmosphere that much. Uh, there was a lot of chance of uh, Forrest in that game and to be fair I think we should have been at least 2 nil, maybe 3 nil down at half time and they just piled on more pressure. It started to, the game started to come alive a bit for Wednesday sense when uh, in the last 10 minutes and it seemed a bit more urgency which we had lacked all game and we're meant to be needing, I think he said he wants 14, I think it's 15 points from 14 games. And we've now just lost points. Uh, and I'm not going to say they were an easy opponent, they're not. Forest are a very, very good team. And uh, Billy Davis is starting to make them work very hard indeed. Uh, Wick Wickham, you can, he got, you can see the bits of where he's a good player and how he plays and he is really good. I just don't know if it was working out for us. Uh, I thought back four, when they finally got defending, were okay, but they weren't brilliant. A lot of, lot of last ditch tackles. Uh, did we, if we were going to get a goal, it looked like it was going to be a set from a set piece, and most of their things that they did from a set piece were very good. And the little things that I like to see when uh, Helan and JJ, JJ linked up well when they passed it to each other. Uh, I thought when Medin came in, he did try best to put in a shift. There was an incident where uh, Mikel Antonio got a yellow card, but the fourth play, Alero had gone to head the ball. As Alero went to head the ball, he got he was going to the net, and as he was in the net, he was trying to get out of the net, and the fourth player was just blocking it in and just keeping him there. And I and Antonio got a yellow card for pushing the play out of the way so he could get And I thought I was a bit stupid by uh, Boris, you're already winning, it's near the end, why do you need to do that? Just let him out. But at the end of the day, we got outplayed by the better team. Uh, for this game, I think we've really got to just put it behind us and move on and move on to choose the game against Watford because we have got some tough difficult game which if we don't let this uh, game go behind us and move on could really really badly put us in the bottom three and get sucked in a minute we start to get even more sucked into the relegation battle which is something nobody in this club wants to happen and so what I will say is with any luck we'll have a better game on thingy keep the faith keep supporting, it wasn't the result we wanted, 
the run we're going to come unstuck eventually because no team can go unbeaten for a very long time. It has been done but it's not very often. And all I say is keep the faith, move on to the next game and let's just go from there and let's try and work on the mistake we made and then get three points to Watford. Anyway, let's push for 41. Bye.